Hi, this is Heath with BuildBox. In this video, we are going to learn about scenes. We'll take a look at duplicating, creating, and editing scenes, moving, duplicating, and changing objects in scenes, and adding object components. When we first create our simple game, BuildBox generates a couple scenes to get us started. To build upon our game by duplicating a scene, click on the scene and press D to duplicate it. To create a new scene, click on the Add New Scene button at the bottom. We can mute and solo scenes for testing by selecting the scene and using M for mute or S for solo. Muted scenes will not be played in the game while soloed scenes will be the only scene in the game besides the start scene. To edit the order our scenes will appear in the game, click on the arrow button to reveal the timeline editor. Here you can see the start scene and the scenes we have duplicated and added. The start scene will always be the first scene of your game and all the rest of the scenes will generate in the order they appear in the timeline editor. At first look, we can see the starting point and ending point of all our scenes are overlapping. This will cause our game to generate our scenes at random for the player. We can quickly change the order of the scenes by going to the Edit menu and selecting Align Scenes. Now, the ending point of the scenes coincide with the starting point of the next scene. Selecting a scene shows the scene name, the starting and ending point of the scene, and how long the scene plays for. We can quickly change our scenes back to a random order by going to the Edit menu and selecting Randomize Scenes. We can easily continue building our game by duplicating a scene and making it a different experience for the player by rearranging objects in the scene. Moving objects is as simple as clicking and dragging as you move the object. When moving objects, we can restrict them to a straight line in the X or Y axes by holding Shift as we move the object. We can also duplicate the object using W, A, S, or D keys. And we can change the presets of those objects in the Options panel. For instance, we can change this object to a physics object that falls as the player approaches it. We'll keep the preset to enemy, but we'll make it a physics enemy. And since we want it to land on the same platform our player is on, we will change the collision type, allowing this object to interact with other objects set to collide. We can change the properties of this object to fall only when we come close to it by adding a wake-up component to the object. We will set a distance of 300 pixels. We could also make the object spawn duplicates of itself by adding the spawner component. We will change the distance to 1000 pixels and then have the object spawn every half second. In review, we learned to duplicate scenes and create new scenes, how to mute and solo scenes for testing, how to edit the timeline of our scenes and change the order they appear in, how to move and duplicate objects in our scenes, how to change object presets, and adding object components. Thank you for joining us. Find more helpful videos at buildbox.com.